This is my client, Epi, and uh, she presents with asymmetry of her pelvis. But I want to demonstrate that this is how she was made at the factory. <laughs> to develop mental asymmetry. And the question is, does it matter? And maybe it doesn't. And in looking at her in standing, I don't know if the camera will capture it as well as my eyes do, but this is lower. And then when you turn around, going into the posterior iliac shelf, she's higher on the right, okay? But when we test movement through the pelvis in multiple angles, we find normal movement. And we did the so-called, you know, adjustments or alignment techniques, and there was no change. So this is a factory setting, if you will. Would you lie on your back, please? Yes. And I hope the camera angle is okay, and Sorry. I'm the only person here today, so uh, I kept I'm the cameraman. All right, so when she lays down, legs out straight, she has equal leg lengths. She still presents with that asymmetry, but there's no restriction of passive motion going through the pelvis, and we've tested multiple directions, and there's no restriction. So, you know, our efforts that we did to so-called try to align this thing <laughs> like, made no difference whatsoever. Right. So this is how you're made. Line your stomach again, and of course you do look asymmetrical, but you have symmetrical mobility okay and again you look higher on this side but all motion going through the pelvis is normal on both sides and I tested it several other other manners other ways so here's what we decided to do we cut out a five millimeter and then a three millimeter heel insert so she's going to experiment with that heel lift uh, under the left shoe, which does make her more symmetrical in standing. And what we might find out is that her body doesn't like the heel lift. Maybe the, the, the body is happier the way it is, okay? <laughs> so it's yeah. simply an experiment and uh, she'll try a walk with the three millimeter uh, firm foam and see what that does for her. Start with three. Yeah, okay. yeah. And we'll find out if that makes a difference or not. Uh, most of her right. symptoms are present when she does walk. Yeah. Okay? It's with activity for sure. Now we looked at her in sitting a while ago with the, with oh. the lift, and we also looked at her in sitting without the lift. Do you, what about the foam roll? Do we yeah. care about that? Yeah, go ahead and sit down and I'll demonstrate that. So what we found in both contexts, with her shoes on, with the heel lift, and then also with shoes off, in both of those contexts, we found that if we put a soft piece of foam under the choke counter, and you could roll up a washcloth, or maybe two washcloths and tape them, or rubber band them, um, you know, and get the same effect. We found that her legs were a little more symmetrical when she had this under. But more important than this is how do you feel when that is under your choke hammer? A lot more um, symmetrical. Okay. In other words, I feel like I'm actually sitting on my sit bone really yeah. for the first time ever. So for yeah. me, however, as you say, what, how I came out of the factory, I, to exaggerate, I never quite feel like I'm sitting on my ischia, my, on my sit Right, because the chair, the seating surface is trying to force you into symmetry, but you're not but I'm made not symmetrical. symmetrical. So this actually feels very good to yeah. me, and it improves my posture, so it's in particular for um, sitting at my desk yeah. all day. Yeah, so it's a great thing to have it work. Yeah. And if you go for a long drive, then you could take it good in the car. Point. Yes. And just for curiosity, what happens when you put it under the other hip? It, incre it increases the um, that feeling of not being able to sit on my sit bone on my right, whatever yeah. that is, the yeah. asymmetry. Very good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so go ahead and put it under the hip. Okay. And then uh, we'll pretend your shoes were on okay. and the heel lift would be under that left. And does that make any difference? 
it makes more of a difference without this, but it does make it feels a little more level. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And sitting. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Well, yeah. we'll do the experiment with both okay. with either the with both heel lifts. Try the five and try the three millimeter. Great. And um, so this is a presentation on how we interact with a pelvis that has a developmental asymmetry, a pelvis that cannot be aligned, cannot be made symmetrical. We're basically making your seating surface match the asymmetry of the pelvis. So thank you. Yay. I appreciate this demonstration. Thank it's good you. to know because we cannot align every, every pelvis. Every pelvis, and, exactly. Uh, I think the population, you know, that is aware of pelvic asymmetry needs to be mindful of what do you do when you can't change it. Thank you. Thank you.